everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today what we're going to do is uh, play with this little um, book that we kind of started uh, a couple Fridays ago and then I, I did some more with it um, this last Friday. So what I wanted to show, and I wasn't going to show this, but then someone asked me if I would show it on video. Well, I actually had thought about showing it and then she mentioned she wants to know how to do it and so... I'm going to go ahead and show how I do the uh, um, the hinging with the fabric pieces. And so I just have lots of little uh, pieces of like Tim Holtz fabric. You can use just tiny pieces of fabric because you're just going to need itty bitty little hinges for this because it's so tiny. Um, and I don't know how long this video will be. It's going to depend on how long I can um, stand here and do this. <laughs> because as you can probably hear from my voice um i do have covid and so i'm still i mean i feel fine don't get me wrong i just sometimes i get a little like woozy <laughs> for a lack of a better term i just get woozy um so anyway and i like to stand to craft i just do i just prefer that and my table's kind of that height and everything so yeah, but I just wanted to let you guys know if I am done, I'll be done. <laughs> so um, anyways, what we're going to do is just take some little bits like these are probably uh, just the, like this piece is just over half an inch, but I'm not going to get super technical about um, all of them being exactly a half an inch or anything like that because I just um, I kind of want it to have a look like maybe it's been worked on for a while and things weren't totally you know measured or whatever so but all you're gonna do is take a couple of the pieces you know decide what order you want them in and then take a couple of the pieces and a hinge doesn't need to be all that long especially for something like this like maybe again about an inch is what I'm gonna go with I think and these I will kind of cut the same size. When I'm using them on the same thing, I will try to cut them similar size just so they don't, um, you know, there aren't different gaps. I might use a different one though for that so that they're not both the same, same, same. So how y'all doing? Hope you're all doing good. I'm um, feeling much better <laughs> than I was, I will tell you that I've still got just full ears can't hear anything and um, all that but I was just coughing my head off I mean ugh, my doctor gave me uh, antiviral so hallelujah for that thing because that has really seemed to kick it thank goodness because man it was kicking my hiney for a couple of days Okay, so then all you're going to do is glue a tab, you know, onto the front, and then you can decide, do you want the tab on this side or the back side? I'm just going to go with the back side. I just, I find that easier. You can also, if you use paper, what I've done in the past, and you could do it with these. I've never tried it with fabric, but you can also um, hinge them on, like on the inside like this which would also work. Maybe we should do that just for something different because I haven't done it with fabric. Fabric ones I usually put around the outside, but maybe we need to do something different and do them like that. I can cut it a little shorter so it's not covering up my my images there, my flowers. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I've got a cough drop in my mouth, so I apologize if you hear that rattling around in my mouth. But I didn't want to be coughing in your ears but yeah I feel I feel pretty good all things considered right sorry I thought this was open I think my other one is better probably not a lot but a little yep I'm gonna use tacky glue but you use the glue of your choice and then you just try to like obviously kind of line them up as best you can these are luckily the same height so that definitely makes it easier and then I want the writing where I can see it out here and I'm just gonna leave a tiny little gap in there 
not a big gap. And then I pull it more. <laughs> so this is all we do is just glue little, these little tabs uh, to glue all the pages together. And that's it. It's literally that easy. And I've done this type of thing before at Christmas time um, using paper for the hinges and that works just as well. So um, if you don't have fabric or you don't want to use fabric, then of course you can use uh, paper. And I think I'm just probably going to go two and two, you know, two hinges, two hinges, that kind of thing, instead of trying to do the two and three and two and three and all that because this is just so tiny. I don't think we need more than um, two hinges per page on any of them. I really, I want that on top of that. <laughs> it's not wanting to cooperate with me. Okay. But my husband's all well. My son has it. So he's in bed right now. <laughs> and um, of course, praying for speedy recovery for him. And my daughter's good so far. I don't know. I don't know if she'll get it or she won't. I'm sure she will. It's just a matter of when. Because we were all together, <laughs> you know, moving her and doing all that. So, yeah, kind of crazy. I'm going to ink this because it's and you can kind of get a little ink on those two, um, the ones that I just put on. That'll help age it, and then from the spine, it'll kind of look a little more interesting, you know. And so we're just going to keep going like that. And that's all you do. It's super duper simple. But I thought this might be a good thing, and since I had some interest in how, how you go about doing it, I figured I might as well do it on camera. And if those of you that know how to do it and aren't interested, <laughs> I understand if you want to do something else, but you could just hang out and craft and do your own work, whatever you're working on, if you wanted to. Probably don't have a whole lot of exciting stories, just been pretty much um, laying on the couch or, you know, trying to sleep. That's one thing everybody has said. I mean, I've been exhausted. Exhaustion is definitely one of the things that I've heard a lot of people say about COVID. And it definitely, definitely is exhausting. Um, but like my husband, he just slept. I got really worried because he just kept sleeping. Um, and so that was scary to me. But I was like, the opposite. I could not sleep. I kept having like restless leg all night and um, and then I would wake up coughing and uh, yeah it was not super great but I am here and so yay <laughs> right so that's the that's the winning thing but yeah I was a little envious of the fact that some people need, or, you know, just sleep, because I'm like, mm-mm, there was no sleep for me. So, and I may come back after these dry and stuff and trim off a little more of that. I'm just trying, it. this is very tricky when they're this tiny. I haven't done one this tiny before for the hinging thing. But yeah, I'll probably come and trim that off a little bit too. I want to try to kind of get them. They seem like, you know, that, uh, that dip there is a little bit of a pain because it's lower. And then when you close it, it's a lot looser. So you just got to fiddle with them until you, you know, get them the way you want them. And that's why I'm using tacky glue instead of like, um, 
what do you call it, art glitter glue or something because it glues so fast you don't have any playtime. See, so now I'm, I'm not as loose and it just seems <laughs> more square to each other, I guess. Okay. Let me put this under there just to bring it up a little more even with that. And we just keep going like that. And I may pause and do that and then we can come back and do some decorating just so you guys don't have to watch me you know do this for however long it takes but that's all you're doing is just putting all the little hinges on I don't think I need this whole wide of a piece and I'm sorry if I am not super clear I can't <laughs> can't really help it I'm totally congested and everything but I wanted to show you guys because I know some people are trying to make one so okay and I like them frayed if you don't like them frayed you don't have to fray it And like, see, these pieces are a little bit thinner than I was using, but like I said, I'm not going to worry about every strip of fabric being the same size. I don't, I don't care about that. I'm going to actually tuck it right up against that book. We're just going to put this one up here because it's right there. Is that even... Gotta remember too. Well, originally when I made these little um, cards, I didn't know I was gonna make a book out of them for sure. I mean, I had talked about it with my sister, but careful what you put on the side where you're gonna put the hinges. It just um, you don't want to cover stuff up, is what I'm saying. Sorry, I got that kind of loopy brain right now. So I'm gonna try to get them <laughs> as even as I can. So yeah, you just got to keep, I don't know, fiddling with it. And I'm not saying that, you know, this is going to turn out perfect either. I've never done one quite like this, so it's so tiny. It's kind of a different, different ball game. All right. A lot of these are Tim Holtz fabrics. And I'm not exactly sure which ones, you know, because um, they were gifted to me, so I'm not, I don't totally know, but. Yeah, it's been hot, hot here, of course, because, you know, it's always awesome when you're sick and it's hot. <laughs> but we wanted it to warm up, and it did. So, ta-da. a little bit of that off because there's just a big old blob because it's dripping. Alright, 
that one worked. So see, you can see they're different sizes and whatever, but I really don't. That doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, then definitely make sure you cut your strips to the same size. And I'm going to put just, I'm noticing like right here, it doesn't seem like it's stuck that great. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue in there. glue on the table. <laughs> okay. Now we got this little guy. All right, I think I'm going to pause and then I'm going to finish putting the little tabs on because I think you guys get it and I'll be right back. Okay, I got all the tabs on. I'm going to set this aside to let it dry and I'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, first, I want to show you guys, I got this uh, die and I can see it's still all <laughs> hooked together, but I'm so lazy because, you know, the uh, clipper, the um, wire cutter that I would use to cut these apart is downstairs and I don't feel like getting it. So I ran this through so that I could just show you guys these fun little dies. I got this one on Amazon and I'm sure there's lots of other uh, companies that do these. I don't know if Tim Holtz does this or not. I wanted these things, these like this, that look like clips. <clears throat> Excuse me. They look like clips, but they're um, paper, you know, obviously that's a pin nib, which is very cool. And that little heart. Hello, that says, this one I think says sweetheart, but I just like the little clip look. Anyway, this is a vintage paper clip and film frame, and I will put a link to it in the description box below the video. It's X00365ML5T. <laughs> if you would like one but anyway they're just kind of fun had some fun stuff i was looking for another photo frame but this one still just isn't really the right size for this because but i guess you can get that um that other set of die cuts that i have that i showed you guys when i first started making this to get this little uh frame you can still get it on amazon so I, i'm not sure i'll try to remember to link the number that i was given for that because um, someone found it on Amazon and I'm sorry names are escaping me right now because my brain is just not there but anyway and um, so I'll try to remember to link the number or some or try to find it again and link it I did look for it but I couldn't find it so I'm not sure but anyways <laughs> I got these and I thought they might be kind of fun to put a couple of those in with everything else okay so the reason I was letting that dry was because be careful these tabs when you close it obviously can stick to each other <laughs> and I always forget stuff like that when I'm making things and so I did get a little boo-boo right here but I'm just going to ink that it's the only tricky thing I didn't even think of it because I was like oh those pieces of fabric are glued together but that um what do you call it um Tacky glue, you know, squeezes out all over the place and all that. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it that way. I'll have to do a, something else with that. But anyway, um, so just make sure, you know, when you're doing it at home, you don't have to obviously get through it quite as fast. So if you can just like put your tabs on, set it up, let it dry, you know, do the next page, set it up and let it dry and just keep going like that so that it gets a chance to dry in between. And I think we will go back and do a little trimming here and there because some of these tabs are way longer than necessary. Those ones look good. Those are fine. Um, I think it was as I went on, I got lazy. I think I'm going to just kind of put that one down a little bit more. Let's see, this one's real long. I don't think it needs to be that long. Although I do like it, it's just not, doesn't need it. So yeah, just go along and fix up anything that you feel like needs a little help. It's a lot easier to do once it's dry. When they're wet, they're tricky. And I did take a little break. 
on. So they got a chance to dry it good. For the most part, that one I think is fine. Like I said, I don't necessarily want it to look all perfectly the same. And I don't want the fabric over the plastic here if we can avoid it. I think it did kind of dry a little on there. And I don't mind if it looks haphazardy. I'm going to go ahead and just ink that a little bit. Yeah, so just depending on how everybody's doing around here, uh, my son and my daughter and all that. If I don't have a video, you'll know I just had stuff to do. <laughs> so. Crazy stuff. But yeah, these, these little books like this, I love doing stuff like this. This is kind of my favorite sort of projects. Actually, I'm going to leave that one just because it's not wanting to come up and I don't want to tear anything. If you like the tabs long, then, you know, leave them long, whatever. I don't even mind that one over the picture a little. It's fine. I think that one's alright. I'm going to ink this one. It's a little white. And, you know, as time goes, they'll get a little more tattered looking and whatever. And what I might even do, like on this one, is just put another little strip of some other fabric, fabric <laughs> if I could say words, on there. That might be a way to get it fixed. But let's put something different than the one that's on there. See, there's all kinds of little cheats you can do when you're uh, making junk journals. Which is the awesome part because let's face it uh, none of us are perfect and the chances of you know always making it uh, fabulous every time or perfect every time is zero so I'm just gonna add another little piece right there that was a bummer that I caught you know got that stuck like that but it's fine and you could add a little piece here and there to other ones if you ended up doing something like that um, just to make it you know purposeful I guess so let's put and that will just strengthen stuff as well so that's kind of fun I like it Add a little interest here and there. thing is let it dry <laughs> okay and then the other thing we're gonna do is try to add like some little pockets and things I thought that would be fun and I thought we would try using one of these frames and we can put a picture behind it and then turn it into a pocket kind of like we already did the other ones um, that we put the dangle on and all that, but let's do one that we can turn into a pocket. So let's see who we want. I like her hat. <laughs> oh, two won't fit very well. Kind of got to be one in there.
So yeah, if you don't have, um, you know, these little frames, you can easily just um, use the photo for a pocket. You don't have to have the little um, film thing around it. That's not a necessity, it's just kind of fun. But you could use the photo all by itself. So if you just have the Tim Holtz photos and you don't have these little frame things, or you could use a plain frame. that would also work. <clears throat> they just be cute pockets, tiny pockets. crooked there, but I think it'll be alright. Oopsie. Let's not take the frame apart, Amy. <sighs> okay. And I have my good scissors right there, and I'm using the ones that hurt my thumb. <laughs> uh, sounds right. These ones aren't too bad. haven't been doing much cutting. <laughs> Mostly just sitting and coughing. Oh, I keep doing that. So then, like on the back of this one's a good one because it's kind of a dark color to uh, write on. So we can just glue on two sides. Yeah, if you're not crazy about the Tim Holtz photos or people, this probably wouldn't be a journal for you, but you could do it, you know, use birds or flowers or you know whatever it is that you like you could do the same style it doesn't have to have the photos so that's an easy thing to fix luckily um let's see what do we want to put in there yeah, there's a little that's pretty cute that's just a little tag that came from some paper pad okay because it's not sticking up any higher than those so that's fine we can put a little fabric or something in there let's actually tear a piece that's this strip on here would be perfect if it'll tear straight I might just staple it just because I don't want to add a knot and I don't want a lot of fabric. I just want a little. have the extra little stick up part and where else do we want 
This is another piece I cut out of a different, um, this is a die cut I have that kind of looks like torn um, paper on it. And so I cut a couple of those out, but they were too big, you know, for the photos. So they would work though well for, um, what do you call it? My gosh, I'm telling you my brain doesn't work. Uh, flowers, pressed flowers. But I the, this would make a good pocket. I don't know which side I want to use. I don't want to do it on this one. That's like a tuck or a pocket. I don't know if I love the the ruffly edge on it. It's almost like these little guys are better, but they're so tiny. Could put a couple together to make a tuck. Those are the centers that come out of these. But you could, like I said, punch a square. If you have different size square punches would work. Can't tell what's upside down and what's right side up on this. I think this works. I realize this is cracked. So then you could just glue like one side across the bottom. And then you could put this one. Oh, I don't think I want to do that. This one's going to be. Could take one of these little guys, I think. I don't love the heart for some reason on this particular project. Oh, it's too big. I'm just thinking it might look kind of cute on that as a decoration. Yeah, I like it. take some of these bits of fabric that I tore off. Paper towel, sorry, I'm mumbling. <clears throat> and we can put a little piece of ephemera in there. Oh, this is one of those little tickets out of the Tim Holtz, like the faux tickets. It's kind of big, doesn't want to go in there very well. 
color is good. Yeah, I like it with that yellow flower. So let's ink that. So that pack is kind of big. But we could use. So you can use these type of things as pockets as well, which is fun. Yeah, we could do that. Let's see. Shows up better. Let's do that. are all sticky. I don't know if I want the flower on there or not because I do like the 12. to go in there. I think all these are too big. I'll have to figure out what you could put in there because that is kind of a neat little. Oh no, my hole punch. I just got an itty bitty one but it's probably too tiny but it might look neat. inch. Upside down, Amy. W goes this way. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I should go back to bed. <laughs> uh, not that I've really spent any whole lot of time in bed, but <coughs> sitting on the couch, yes. Can't sleep, so it seems silly to be in bed. Yesterday I did finally fall asleep on the couch. Wow, I really googered that up good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. 
to redo that. That's awful. Okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> That's the plan, if I can get it together. Okay. But we can put the flower in the pocket. That is definitely doable. just sitting in there. Okay, yeah, I'll work on that paper clip. That was a that was a oopsie on my part. Alright. I think I might stop there today. I think that's giving you guys a good idea. I'm just you know, then I just go and play and make things however. Um, there's no right or wrong. You can make them any way that you want to. This one's a little different than any I've done. I haven't done one this small um, for the this type of thing. Uh, like that there. All right, so we'll stop there. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys um, got to see I did the hinge. <laughs> And so that's what it looks like. And you can, if you want to, take another piece of fabric and, um, you know, like glue it right here, fold it over, and glue it right there if you want to cover that up. It depends on if you want to see that or you don't want to see it. So, um, yeah, I like it. I like it so far. So we'll c continue to work on this the next time I see you guys. And uh, thanks for joining me today. I love y'all, and I hope that you're all healthy and happy and doing great. And we'll chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.